Oh, crashing here in a McDonald's, waiting for someone. <coughs> yeah, look, it's uh, 9.26, it's the 26th of September, September 26th. In the morning, um, I'm all wet, it was snowing already here in this in the northeast of France. It's quite a cold, a cold region here, because it's highlands. I was, everything got wet. Um, yeah, I'm sitting here. So I'm just sitting here waiting. Already after five minutes. What do I see? Yeah, look. You see the lorry here, the van. It says Per Rhin. Per Rhin in French. Per, I already told you, it means the house, like a royal house. Like the house of Bourbon, the house of Gotha Coburg. Yeah. And what do I see next to it? A house. Somebody is working in red which means the old world order. So that stands for a castle then. Eh? And his name, Per Rhin, Per Rhin, it comes from Per On. Like the uh, Argentinian fascist Nazi president, Per On. Um, per On. It's all the same. So it says Per in the pharaonic language, the uh, demotic. And there's a little bloody house next to it, a castle for the old world order in red. I don't know what he's doing. It says Atlas. Oh, there are uh, furniture. It says Meuble. Oh, there's an M in it. It looks like a purse and then there's an M. Okay, yeah, in a square. So that stands for Mason or Malt, like the order of Malt. And here Atlas also has a meaning. It's also like uh, Greek mythology. And it's probably another name for some pharaonic god when they moved over to Greece they took their gods with them gave them another name and all that Per on Per Perin and there's a house right? it's everywhere and you a bloody slave you used to have some dreams you know becoming someone when you were smaller or you saw some some Hollywood movies you become really become someone and rich and forget it forget it it's only for them and if you do make some money, they're going to steal it for you, fro of you, eh? Just forget it. <clears throat> You're just a slave and a, and a, and a wet-soaking rat like me. A wet-soaking rat. That's all you're, where you are, you know. Uh, last night, as I had another tent, I have so many problems with these tents, you know, they just can't make it right, you know, they don't even... Uh, they don't test it or something. So I had one with a double roof and I put one and it took ages. It's a complicated system. It's really nice when I'm inside. But it was storming and raining and I got I got all wet as you can see here. Yeah. Uh, while they, the pharaohs, sitting in their houses, eh, in their per. And, um, oh, which is actually a royal house, never mind. Uh, my royal house is my tent. So, uh... I, I, it was it was the inner tent I had to put up first and it got all soaking wet. It was like a swimming pool when I got inside finally. And after the inner tent I have to put the the the, uh, the over the outer tent over. It. So it, it you know it's better to have a tent you know with the poles outside and you just stick it up and nothing comes inside you know. The moment it's raining at least when it's you just, uh, well you know what I mean. Eh? So I don't have a house no pair. Hey, no royal house. We are just the damn slaves and it's everywhere. So look people, this is a lorry from uh, Hungary. And the logo here, they have a big G. The uh, the Freemason G. Uh, I mean, it's they always, you know, make it bigger and do something with it like here. And there's a red um, triangle in it. But the triangle is also like a part of a pizza. You know, the whole G is like a pizza. And it's only one quarter. So there are three white spots left of it, which is a concept of three. And altogether, you can imagine four quarters, four of these red quarters in the circle of the G, which is a concept of four. So it's everywhere there. And it's in the pharaonic colors. First, the, the Templar colors, red and white, 
and blue for the war. All the pharaonic colors are there. Everything belongs to them, people. It's everywhere. Okay, people, another logo. I don't know where the lorry is from. Um, French, I think. You see here there are four circles. So it's a concept of four. And the circle in itself is the concept of three. It's a compass. So all who are initiated, they all see the square and compass. And the lines here, they are part of an oval. They're all ovals. One, two, three, three ovals, like the Oval Office. And it's in the colors red, white, and blue, as usual. Okay, bye bye, your slaves. Yeah, look at this one here. There's a circle for the compass. And in the middle, it has a square. The square is a little bit standing to the side, but it is a square two squares in the Templars colors red and white and it's all in blue so all pharaonic colors red white and blue so everybody who is initiated they all see square and compass you can see the square and you can see the compass eh? and here the M or why do they put the red part on the M probably because the M is important for them it means Mason or Malta the order of Malta that's why they put it on it. And Malta, oh yeah, it is the New World's Order, the Order of Malta. It's Templar stuff, Masonic, which is mostly white. This is, this is, I have been telling you this all the time. The New World's Order is white, the new system. But they come out of the Old World's Order, the old feudal system of the king. And that's why there's a little bit of red in it. Because the royalists they still exist and they even have royalists inside the new world's order inside the the new republican system and this is why like a monarchy like in England or others it's being called a constitutional monarchy so the constitution is white and the monarchy a little bit is red that's why they put the little red part stripe oh, this is a nice one too so here's another one you see the square in the middle so where is the the compass the circle well the whole thing is in a circle that, that's why they put the, they put it in red you know to accentuate it so it says square and compass people it's everywhere it's everywhere you are just a dumb slave, eh? Uh, so I'm going to stop it. It's too much, you know. This, I'm going to stop this. I, I stopped filming it. It's, it's, it's the same all the time. Yeah, look, it's in red, white and blue. Here you got three lines. The concept of three. One is always bigger and one is a smaller one. The biggest one is Seth. The smallest one is Horus. So Horus from top down, Horus, uh, Seth, and uh, Isis, eh? And well, here you see the pyramid, as you know, as always, you know, I already filmed it a couple of times. This one here, look, it's everywhere. You know, there, there should be three, four squares, so for the concept of four. And the end sign, end sign, et, in Latin, it's almost like a square, you know, it's about flattened on top on the side and down below. And there are three left, which is a concept of three. It's everywhere. You see here, look, a little house here. You know, the White House is this one with the square on top of it. And it's all on the, on the red underground because that's where they come from, the old world's order, you know, the feudal system. Here you've got the... Um, yeah, look, oh. look there, all sun hieroglyph and stuff there on top of the building, it's everywhere. You see here, like here, and here, Where is it? there, sun hieroglyph, hey, bloody pharaohs, and your bloody slave can't walk with your dog, eh? He even has a uh, red and white stuff on his shoulder there, look at that. 
and it's too squares. It's bloody everywhere. Now that castle there is the mayor's office here. But look at this one, there's a bank here. Look, it's got the three dots in it. And even here, look at that. Uh, why do you think it's got these three dots in it? Eh? The concept of three. And there's the square and two circles. It says square and compass. And it's a bank. Eh? And that's old stuff, eh? You know, like before, I just tried to film that falcon for you, you know. But I couldn't get it in my screen, you know, I couldn't see it. My old D mini D DV camera with the cassettes, I could look through it, you know. I could pick it out of the sky, you know, just like that. But I, I, I only have the LCD screen and I couldn't see it. But I wanted to tell you... You know, the falcon is the only bird-like of prey, bird of prey, like hanging over the, over his, uh, over the prey, you know, the mice. And so all the crests in the world, you know, this is the only, you can see it, you know, with the wings standing up and, you know. So th these are, there is no American eagle, you know. And we all know that our masters, the pharaohs, they got this thing with, uh, with the falcon which represent Horus and you're just a little mouse for them you know and the thing is you know in the double-headed Russian eagle and from the east it all means you know like the all-seeing eye like Horus in the sky you know and it's looking in all directions standing up you know there's a bird really standing up and you see the you know the unders uh, just like all the crests you know and uh, and and you're just a mouse you know and they're, ju they're not moving, just like their politics are hanging over you, they're not moving, you won't see it coming, and all of a sudden they strike, you know, out of the air, out of nothing. <coughs> <coughs> That's what it means, out of the air, out of nothing. Right? You're just a little mouse, you know? Maybe I shouldn't call you the sheeple anymore, like, you're a mouse, you're just mice for them, you're nothing. Right? And I tell you, it's a, it's a falcon. It's not at all American eagle, Russian eagle. No, 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 no. It's a falcon. It's the all-seeing eye in the sky and they don't move until they strike. You know, you won't see it coming, eh? Just like Swissy, eh? Or like the police. They're not going to tell you, you know? You have, to, you have to feel your senses, eh? And then, oh, there's the missus coming, eh? Daughter, going to pick me up for the weekend. Right. I'm all set. Yeah, it's a falcon hanging in the air like this. A uh, an eagle doesn't do this. So all these military crests of countries and all that, and Nazis and Romans and America, it's all a falcon. It's all from Egypt. An eagle doesn't do this. These are all real falcons hanging in the air, you know, all the crests. It's all this bird here, it's all from Egypt. Only a falcon hanging in the air like this. All these coat of arms, it's all falcon stuff. Yeah, falcon is the only bird like hanging in the air like this. Eh? Why they carry this falcon, eh? the crescent moon? Because it's all the Horus matrix. It's a war against the patriarchy. The Roman eagle. What a nice t-shirt. Make Rome great again. 
And this is the faces, meaning one for all and all for one. And there's a circle for the compass. It's almost a square where it says SPQR. Make Rome great again through wars and killing the patriarchy. It's the Horus Matrix because Horus is being represented by a falcon. Oh, nice tattoo. So S S P Q R it means Senatus Populus Romanus, which means the Senate and the people of Rome. Yeah, they were all pharaohs in these days. The people of Rome and the Senate. The Senate is the uh, the government, and they were all against the Europeans. I already told you. Uh, the Italians, they were, when Pharaoh, he took his slaves and they with him and they became the Italians, killing us. And um, they're everywhere. It's an invasion, you know, in, in Northern Europe. It's, it's an everywhere Italian workers, you know, guest workers. They're, the, they're very good slaves for Pharaoh. And... Um, and uh, talking about Rome, you know, these people here, the Berbers, they're living in Algeria, in the, in the mountains. <laughs> Look how blonde they are, eh? some of them in blue eyes. Because that's where the Vandals, where they finally went to. And in the name Berber, we, found, we find the word Barbar, the barbarians. And they ransacked Rome, these ones here. And they still got the name, it's funny, eh? Like the... Um, or like the famous uh, soccer player here, Zidane, here giving the famous header to an Italian. It's still vandals against uh, Italians, you know. Uh, he's got very, very blue eyes. And, um, well, about Rome and the vandals, the Berber, the barbarians, the barbar. It's still in the name. Well, I got here in a nice, a nice little box for the Templar's Cross here and uh, a coin all this Templar stuff on it uh, I can't really read it or it's the other way around oh. you know they've, they've done such a good job concerning the um, um, publicity for the Knights Templars that you know everybody thinks it's nice you know all this Templar stuff whereas they are so evil it's all with demons and black magic that's why we like it and all the Hollywood videos and you know so here it says here in Latin and here why the wall you know it all has a meaning why is there a wall one of the castles or where the church arm oh, the wall is from masons yeah all right the templars are in front eh? and behind are the masons you know the first stone builders uh, in history and there are the masons the first stone builders and then there are the freemasons the ones who took the stone away you know, like the in the pyramids, you know, to get the treasure out. These that's the difference between the Masons and the, and the Freemasons. But now it's all the same. They're all one, one bunch. And there are two guys on a horse because they were so poor, and not because they are like poor warrior monks, you know, who did a um, a vow to Christ and pov poverty, poverty. No, because they were too poor aristocrats, you know, because of the thing with the first son. Everything went to the first son, the uh, the primogenitor. So that, that's why, you know, there were second, third, fourth sons, and they were as poor as a church rat. Yeah. And people love it, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm a Templar, you know, the, these guys really believed in God or, you know. There's so much black magic around it, you know, they did such a good uh, job, you know, like people believing in it. Fantastic job. 
it's like a sword, eh? Yeah. If you don't, if you know, if you're not going to use your sword like this, I'm going to nail you on the cross. They just turn it around. It's it's uh, it's the inverse speech again. You know, it's always the same. And definitely the masons behind it. So, yeah, bloody Templars, eh? Evil, absolute evil. They were the first multinationals in history. The first bankers. Bankers are not the jaywalkers. Some of them are, of course. So they also have aristocrats. They're not all good. There are very evil jaywalkers also around. Also good ones. Like my friend Shai or Roseanne. I don't agree with everything, of course. But I have in common with Roseanne and you know that and Shai from Israel. You know that we hate Pharaoh. And that's at least that's a whole lot, you know. That's a whole lot. And um, yeah, bloody Templars, eh? You know, two pinkless killers on a horse, eh? On one horse. Um, they were, you know, sodomites and and Satanists. The French king, he didn't lie. He didn't lie. And this this is why we got all this evil now, you know. The Masons. Look at that. The Masons. Uh, yeah. Yeah, some good American gave this to me. Very nice. Thanks, bro. Appreciate. Here, look. You can even see there's a. Uh, here it is. Uh, where is it? Yeah. It's a Swiss cross here. Like the little one here. See, it's a Swiss cross. It's white on a red underground. That's, that's where they finally went to. Eh? A Swissy. So these ones, they went to. Here. Uh, here's another cross here. There's another one there. So, yeah. Okay. Suck a piece of English? Huh? Hello, suck my hello. You like Harry Potter, eh? Oh, yeah. What's his name? Gryffindor? Oh, show me the, um, show me this one here. Show me the coat of arms, eh? Oh, that's nice, eh? Oh, that's nice. That, that's a coat of arms, eh? So, people, you can still see, you know, the aristocracy. It's still about princes and coat of arms and crests. Uh, you know, so even the children, they already get, you know, they, they, they get taught, you know, they grow up with the crest and it is nice to have a castle and Harry Potter. It's about pharaonic magic, you know, and a magic wand and all that. All right, you tell me bye bye. Mm -hmm. No, bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye, or, or you, or I'll take it back. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here in the cold. Because of those ones, because of these ones and Swizzy, we're sitting here in the cold. My little daughter, yeah, it's raining and all that. Because I explain the world about these ones, about these perverts, two blokes on one horse. That's why my daughter is sitting here in the cold for the weekend, so we can see each other once in a while. Eh? Hello. Hmm. It's a perverted, bloody world it is. 